Yo, what's up guys? Kilo here. We're back to another video. In this video, I want to show you guys how to macro overnight in Mighty Omega without your computer like basically crashing the fuck out. So, real quick, I want to show you guys in Task Manager uh, what my uh, my uses are right now. So, uh, on the base, I got 26 memory CPU. I'm pretty sure uh, it's a little higher because I had RDP open earlier. But this is basically we are going to be able to see off the bat. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to uh, get your computer to not use that many resources when playing the game. And just uh, being able to, to macro overnight. Uh, like and not worry about your computer exploding. So first things first, you got to open your block shop. Obviously, you're going to need block shop open. And then in block shop, you're going to have to do a couple settings here um, to ensure your game is uh, not using that many resources. Okay, so... If you want to do this with multiple accounts, they did add uh, multi-instance launching. I don't really uh, think this one is very like reliable. I use this one, multiple game instance, right? If you guys need this, just let me know. I'm gonna put the link in the description. But if you use both, they're they're not gonna fail. So, yeah, this one, or you can use um, I forgot how it's called, but it's like Roblox Manager or something where you can put multiple accounts. I don't use that because I don't really. I think it's a little sketchy. So, but yeah. Anyways, so what you want to do is so obviously these are my lowest settings, uh, so to get the most FPS out of it, so everything on lowest. But you want to li limit your FPS here. So you put this on, you limit your FPS because if you limit your FPS, the resources your computer uses are very minimal. You can you can put this on 30, and you can easily beat Kazoo and all that stuff on 30 FPS. You can even put it lower, like 10, 20. What what's important is that it, you have enough FPS. Um, to the point where you can still, um, your, your, your character does not lag out to the point where you, you're not hitting the bags and it's not doing it or like you're doing machines and it's not doing it. So you need like enough FPS you can actually like move around with. So 30, you put this on 30, I put this on 30, you can put this on 20, uh, it's fine. So we have this like that. And then, uh, after you, after you've done that, this, there's not really anything else you got to do. So you, you just put everything on lowest and this actually will, will, We'll do, we'll do quite a bit. I, I'm, I'm even going to put this on 10 just to show you guys, but I'll put this on 10. I'm going to save this and I'm going to open the game. Yeah, the game is opening right now. And I, as, as you can see, it's taking quite a bit to load because I'm on 10 FPS. The game is going to be quite a bit. So if you go here, you select this 10 FPS. So boom. So I'm going to wait till I'm fully loaded in and move around a little bit to show you guys. Obviously, 10 FPS is a little low. I usually use 30. But let's see if we can move around with this. Like, how bad is it? 10 FPS. Can we macro with this? Uh, we can probably macro with this, obviously. It's, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, okay, so now that I'm in game, what I, I want to I show you guys real quick is the task manager. So let me go to task manager real quick. And if you look at this, you're sub 50%. So your memory is sub 50%. What this means is that your computer can easily... It's okay, so... The, we, the reason why computer break when you macro is because your computer is using too much power constantly. You're over 60%. So when your computer is over 60% constantly, every single day, eventually it's going to break, right? Like, it, your stuff is going to melt. It's going to crash out. It's going to burn. It's going to stop working. I don't have money, seriously. Um, so every, everything is just, it's just not going to work out as, a, as, it's, as intended, right? So you're going to have all sorts of problems. All right, let me let me just let me just try, try and do kazoo here. But but now, because this is sub 50 percent, you're not really using that that many resources. I'm still using a little too many resources. Yeah, look at this. So I, I'm pretty sure I'm using my more resources than normal just because I had RDP open earlier. But as you can see, I'm using sub 50 percent. So I'm gonna try and see if I can beat kazoo with this. And if I can beat kazoo with 10 FPS, that means um, that this is actually not that bad. So hold on, let me open my let me get my keyboard open as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in game. And I'm gonna try it real quick to see if I can beat this with a uh, uh, with kazoo. I mean, I should be able to easily, but you never know. All right, so so let's do this real fast. Yeah, this is very slow. 30, 30 is perfectly fine. Let me see how 10 works. But yeah, you're using very little amount of resources. And the point I'm trying to make, by the way, I'm pretty sure on 30 FPS I'm using the same amount of resource I'm using right now. So you're not even you don't even have to use um, uh, oh for real you don't even have to use uh, 
You don't even have to use a... What's it called? A 10 FPS. Oh shit, he bossing up. He bossing up. He bossing up. Why are you blocking? Why are you blocking? Oh, hell no. Yeah, so 10 FPS is a little sketchy. I'm not gonna lie. But it's, it's doable. At least on computer. I'm not repeat. This is absolutely no way doable. He's actually kind of slick, bro. Wait, he's actually kind of slick. Oh, shit. Oh, hell no, bro. Oh, shit. Nah, this is... He's actually kind of slick, bro. He might actually be my ass, bro. Wait, he's actually strong. So, if you guys want to see more videos like this, just let me know. Uh, I'm going to make more videos like this, but... Like, more tutorial oriented vids oh shit I thought he was gonna go in but yeah um he's almost dead yeah, another tactic you can use is actually can stay behind walls like this you get a hyper armor High frames. And there you go. So we basically beat this guy full HP. So yeah, you can you can easily, as you can see, just beat this guy. So yeah, 10 FPS. 10 FPS, this is very easy. And let me think if there's anything else. Okay, if you guys want to see an RDP video, uh, just let me know. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys real quick how I do this in RDP as well. So I'm going to close the game real fast. But as you can see, sub 50%. I'm, a, I'm open RDP. If you guys want to see a video of how to install RDP, just let me know. I'm going to make a video on how to set up RDP. But yeah, I'm going to connect this. I'm going to connect RDP. I'm open the game. I'm going to show you guys how many resources I use with RDP. Okay. So I'm getting in. And let's see. Hopefully this records. I, I don't know if I don't know if if it's going to record RDP because it's a, it's a different screen. Like um, computers, the screen is not even loading. Okay, it is loading now. But let's see. <coughs> so, I'm open the game real fast. Alright. So, in RDP, we can now use shift lock. So, 10 FPS is definitely not the way. 10, 30 is definitely going to do. But from what I from what I think, uh, is that I think 30 FPS uses the amount of, the amount, pretty much the same resource as 10 was using, in my opinion. And there's another thing you can do. There's, there's, a, there's a program called M Memory Reduct. Um, if you're going to go crazy and just macro like a billion accounts, you can, there's a program called Memory Reduct, which what it does is you can you can refresh your your memory. So the reason why your memory keeps going up is because the memory gets stored, and it uses uh, a high amount of memory, right? But if you if you refresh your memory, it stops using a certain amount of memory. So I'm just gonna go ahead real fast and just like set, set, see if, set, see if we can macro. Let's just go on a server real fast. Um, all right, let's just go here. <coughs> just any around the server will do, and we'll get get in, and we'll see right right now how many resources uses. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick in Task Manager. Actually, what am I doing? Let me just go in Task Manager real quick and I just have this open. So as you can see, I'm using sub 50%. Um, the CPU is a is a bit high because I'm I'm loading this, but once I, once we get in, you're gonna see. So we have this obviously set to 30 FPS in RDP as well, and you can easily be Kazoo with this as well, and my CPU is a little high right now, but just just because I got into game, so it's gonna it's gonna like yeah. So as you can see, it's 50%, 50% CPU, 45% CPU, 40% because it's you know I'm starting the game is it's not loading anymore. There's nothing to process, but yeah, 40% is about the amount you're gonna be using. 45%, 40% about around there, and you can easily macro overnight with this, and and your computer is gonna be totally fine. Um, but yeah, as you can see, like this is how you move with RDP. You don't really have a shift lock. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys want to, if you want, if you guys want me to make a video on how to set up RDP, like a like an easy video where it's not very confusing. I don't know these are other RDP videos can be a little confusing, and people are lazy, so they don't watch the whole vid. But yeah, if you guys want to see that, just let me know. I might just make a vid. Um, but yeah, pretty much, pretty much this 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 is pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick how it macros. As you see, I'm I'm moving completely fine, right? Like this don't lag on 30 FPS, and I'm in RDP too. So in RDP, you do get less frames no matter what. Even if you're on max frames, you you will get ma uh, lower frames. So 
as you can see, everything is completely fine. Uh, just buying some food, and I'm just gonna see if we can macro over here. So let me see my missing food. Let me see pie, pancakes, donuts. Uh, yeah, we're missing a little bit, just a little bit. Let me just buy these real fast. Um, yeah, nothing crazy, man. Just buying the food. Some people cook. I do cook sometimes, I but I don't really cook anymore. Cooking is actually kind of useful in this game, but I'm not going to lie, bro. You don't really need that. So, what cooking is actually useful for is that you can, uh, you do not need gl gluten and low metabolism when doing strike, strike power training, whatever. But I'm not going to lie, bro. <clears throat> As long as you're present on your computer and just like reset your food, it's nothing too crazy, okay? So, okay, so I'm just gonna just test out real quick so you guys know. But basically, we just go like this, put everything in the bar, okay? We can minimize this, all right? We just want to like line your, your fists like this. You always want to do top down view, and then you just open the macro. All right. If you guys want to copy my settings, like these are my settings. All right. If you guys want to copy my settings, like yeah, these work for every gym, by the way. So if you guys want to copy, all right, cool. <coughs> so I'm gonna do this. Press Shift. Just press K, and it's gonna work perfectly fine. And then you can press this. Go down here, Task Manager. And as you can see, I'm still below 50%, 30, 30%. So I'm at 30% right now. But yeah, this is pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, once again, if you guys want to see more tutorials like this, just let me know. I'm gonna, I might make an RDP video if you guys like give this video enough likes. Um, let me think. Is there anything else that I, I want to talk about? I don't think so. I, I was gonna show like having multiple accounts. And, and how much it uses it uses even if you have two accounts open it would still be like around 50 percent 60 percent it would not be something crazy right you can definitely you can definitely macro more than one account like i don't have like a like a spaceship computer i'm like i just have like an average computer so what i'm using is already like more more but if you have like a like a newer computer like right now the game should not be using more than 20 percent 15 percent and then you can keep adding games until you hit like 50 percent if you want to macro more than one computer but anyways it, this was pretty much it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm out. Peace out.